Hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is a full moon message. So with the full moon, this can be a time of forgiveness. Um, this can be a time of release. This can be allowing um, illumination. So it can really bring to the forefront things that perhaps have been suppressed um, that you weren't aware of. So I'm gonna start with the animal cards first of all, just to see if there's a word on here that will resonate with you at this time to help you with this. So your, height, your intuition might be heightened at the moment. Uh, you may be very aware or very aligned with certain things. That could potentially be music as well that works with that. We've got the antelope and wheat, which is nourishment. So this is a time for you, and this relates to the Rune Bacano, um, which is a very nurturing energy. Um, this is a time for you to really, if you haven't been very well at this time, then this could be a time of recovery at this point. So eating the right kind of foods, drinking plenty of water, um, getting plenty of exercise as well. Oh, a spider just ran out across the floor. Hello, my friend. So let's see what we are working with on here with nourishment. The room we have is I was, so I do feel like perhaps this full moon is bringing an ending for you, an ending to something. It doesn't have to be in a bad way. It could be the end of something that's been very heavy or a burden at this time. We have the room Canas as well, which is illumination, which goes very well with the full moon. So this is things to pay attention to. And daggers as well, which is also illumination. So a lot of illumination going on here. This is illumination in terms of enlightening. So this is sort of like, aha, I know now, I see this clearly. The illusion has been broken. And Kainaz is more about the attention that you're paying to something. You're seeing the finer details of something. Maybe you have since this ending recognised a way forward now that resonates with you, that works for you. Okay, let's have a little look at the tarot cards on here. It's so funny today because I was kind of scrolling through um, YouTube and um, there was, I get random songs come up. Well, they're not actually that random. They're obviously picked for me, aren't they? And it was Into the Mystic by Van Morrison that came up and I love that song and I do have some really happy memories with that song. Um, so if that resonates with you at any point, then that's for you today. Um, this Potentially this reading's for you if that song has meaning for you. Maybe go and listen to it and see what it does for you. So I'm watching this spider over here, he's just run all over the place. Okay, so there's potential for, you were missing signs and feeling very blocked, but I feel like over the past 24 hours maybe, you've become more um, aware and started to see more signs now, started to feel more illuminated. Um, there's not a block anymore to a particular situation. It's more of a flow, you're going into a flow. And we've got the King of Wands on there, which this is a signal of success, of leadership, of taking control. Um, this is a forward movement. So it is allowing things to actually be, you know, there's something with the King of Wands as well, which I feel like with this, like when we say endings and beginnings, that kind of puts, and also, sorry, I keep doing this, Dagaz is time related. So Dagaz is time in a daily cycle, whereas Yera is time in a, a yearly cycle. So there's something on a daily cycle here. There's something about time, timing, and everything being in divine timing. And you are sort of controlling your own timing right now. I feel like you are being very clever. You are paying attention to the timings of things and you know moving very determined, very slow. Um, I also have the Queen of Swords here as well. So this is about you know someone who goes along with integrity, that kind of is working with truth. Um, you know, a very wise leader. And so, you know, with the Queen of Swords and the King of Wands on there, there's like intellect and power here working together. Um, so yes, you have very much been enlightened to a situation, I feel, that from an ending that's occurred. 
um, it's woken you up, it's made you pay attention, and now it's illuminating what needs to be done, what needs to be seen on there. So let's just get a final outcome on this, because this is only going to be a short one today. I have to get out in this sunshine. <laughs> so we've got the Four of Pentacles on here. There's something that you haven't been able to let go of. Um, this isn't defensive as such, but it's more about that, you know, moving forward in a controlled way. So this could be somebody having a better control over their finances, whereas before you may have been spending a lot. Um, you are becoming more empowered and more in control, not just on a physical level, but also I feel um, potentially on an emotional level as well, with that page of cups. But it's a very slow moving energy. So if you're here because you feel like things aren't moving quick enough or you're having doubt because of the slowness of the timeline, just be aware that everything is, is all in divine timing. We have the fall on here as well, so this could signal a time to, you know, take a chance to really, you know, step out of the comfort zone and step into something that you know is for you. Um, I always find this particular card interesting because she's holding a crystal, like all the other cards don't have a crystal in them, and it looks like an amethyst, which is like the dreamer's rune. Um, this is also very specific as well, I don't know if this resonates, but the amethyst is said to, if you carried it in your pocket and went to the pub and had a few drinks with your mates, it's supposed to stop you from getting drunk. So take that how it resonates. Maybe you've been getting drunk a lot lately or drinking a lot lately. This might be an offering of sort of like, right, maybe it's time to, to stop this now. This is affecting you moving forward. Um, so there could be something about drinking on there. Not saying anybody's got a drinking problem, just sort of suggesting if you have been drinking a lot, maybe getting drunk a lot, or you might be thinking to yourself, like, I really need to stop this. It might be that that's been illuminated on here. Oh, wow. But we do have, we've got the Queen of Cups here. So King of Wands and Queen of Cups. So what was I saying before? Um, we've got the Queen of Swords as well. So there's a lot of kings and queens, a lot of powerful, direct energy um, driving forward. This is emotional, it's um, physical and spiritual as well. So, you know, that's a lot of power. That is a lot of power. And we've also got the Ace of Cups here too. So there is a new beginning happening here. There is something new. This can represent love as well. This can represent um, love connection and things. So if this was about hope, if you've been awakened to something that you perhaps felt was hopeless. Um, the ending here and the paying attention, the awareness of what, how you feel and what's going on with you. And then daggers with the illumination and the enlightenment as to a way forward. And you're being asked, I feel, with the fall there to kind of take control of things that are sabotaging your way forward, that are holding you back. And with the Queen of Cups as well, this is about following your intuition. It's about being guided by what you are intuitively being given. Um, and also having emotional intelligence too. So sort of where before we'd got that sort of um, intelligence from the Queen of Swords, you know, um, about integrity and leadership. And this is about having emotional balance, basically. Um, yeah, so it's kind of like coming out of the ego and more into the soul and moving forward in that direction. Okay, let's just get a final outcome on there. We've got the High Priestess on the bottom as well, so very much about intuition. You know, it's all about that um, energy, that divine feminine energy. Listen to yourself, listen to that inner voice and how it's guiding you, where it's guiding you to go. Okay, we have the Knight of Cups as well. So this is quite a romantic night. This is taking the direction towards something that you are romanticizing about, something that you are passionate about, something that you want to move forward, to drive forward. So, and we have the Ten of Cups on the bottom. So this is something that I feel you're looking for a permanent state here. And this could signal um, a relationship coming together. It could signal, um, like uh, commitment as well um yeah but it's a very affluent if you like it's very uh wealthy um way forward 
So this is kind of like, you know, give yourself all of that nourishment, treat yourself how you have perhaps treated other people in terms of sort of like, you know, if you've got children or whatever, you'd always be making sure that they've got food or they've got water or they've got a comfy bed or, you know, do these kind of things for yourself. Make sure that you are treating yourself like a god or a goddess, treating yourself like you are worthy, you're worth a lot. You know, treat your body like a temple. You've probably heard that before. Give yourself that nourishment because it's going to empower you and give you the strength and energy to drive this forward. So I will leave you with that today. Have a blessed full moon day.